Hi cutie pies. Welcome to Kids Who Clock with Soumya. In today's craft story, we will read aloud the story of Zan the Zebra. And in the craft section, we will learn to make a floral greeting card today. So let's get started with our story. Zen the zebra lived in city zoo. He wasn't a happy zebra. He was always cranky and angry. Zen, go away, humans! Why was he so cranky? You ask? Because he was bored. Yeah, he was bored of living in his boring, colorless abode. Colors fascinated him, and he wanted to add a lot of them to his life. He even tried to paint his cage once with a paintbrush forgotten by someone near his cage, but he didn't have enough paint and skill to do that. The only time of the day he was happy was when his bird friends visited him. He was fascinated by his bird friends. They brought vibrancy to his boring, dull life. After all, one day, while he was sitting all bored in his cage, his flamingo friend came to say hi. Flamingo. Good afternoon, Zen. Zen. Yeah, whatever. Flamingo. Happened, Zen. Are you okay? Zen. No, I am bored. I want to decorate my cage and add color to it. Could you help me? Flamingo went back and called an urgent birds meeting. All the birds of the zoo flew in to attend this important meeting. Flamingo. We have to help our friend Zen. I have an idea. Flamingo conveyed his idea to all the birds, and all of them agreed to help their friend Zen the zebra. Flamingo, come on, hurry up! We have to help our friend. All the birds collected flowers from all over the zoo. And brought them to Zen's cage. They all helped Zen decorate his cage with colorful flowers. In no time, Zen's cage was gleaming with vibrant flowers. Zen was overjoyed and felt so grateful for having such loving friends. Zen thanked. Each and every one of his bird friends, and especially Flora the flamingo, for adding so much beauty to his life. Zen was no longer a cranky, grumpy zebra, and he also started enjoying being the most visited animal in the zoo. Did you all like the story? Please watch this video till the end for a very interesting fact about zebras. So did you see how flamingo and all other birds helped Zen the zebra decorate his cage the way he wanted to? It's always a good idea to help your friends whenever they need your help. Now it's time for a craft section. Let's make a beautiful floral greeting card. To make a floral greeting card, I took a white cardstock. Cardstock is kind of a bit thicker paper than the rest of the construction papers. So I am going to make a floral card on my cardstock. If you don't have cardstock, obviously you can take a white paper which is a bit thicker than the rest if possible. Then I cut a blue paper to make sky on my greeting card, and then I'm. Cutting the green paper and gluing it to the greeting card, it's going to become the green grass. I'm 
checking the papers with my Elmer's glue stick on the cardstock. Now I'm folding a bright green construction papers. Folding it will ensure that whatever I make on that, I don't have just one copy. I have multiple uh, copies of that. So I made bushes on this green paper and when I'll cut it, I'll not get just one bush, I'll get multiple bushes because I folded the paper. Please use scissors only under the guidance and supervision of your parents or elders. After cutting the bushes, I'm going to paste them on the green grass that I just made with my dark green construction paper. I am again using my Elmer's glue stick to glue all this. It's very convenient to use glue stick. Now let's create some flowers. I'm using my yellow construction paper to create tulips and one other flower. For this I folded my yellow construction paper and then I drew a heart and a leaf like structure on the yellow paper and then I'm going to cut it. So I have multiple leaf like structures because I folded the paper and I also have multiple heart like structures because I folded the paper again <laughs> so as you see I pasted one of the petal of the tulip and then I'm going to fold the second petal and then paste it like that you know in this way I just fold it from the center See how easy it is to make tulip flowers. Now with the heart shaped cutouts, I'm going to make one other flower i'm making three petal flowers with these heart shaped cutouts now in the same way i've taken a bright pink construction paper and i'm going to make tulips with this paper as well for this i drew a leaf like structure or a teardrop like structure on the Pink paper I'm going to cut it and then I'll make tulips with that now I only had two petals left so I made a tulip bud by pasting the two petals in that way now I am outlining the flowers so that my flower petals have little bit of definition so just took up a random sketch pen and I'm outlining everything
I first drew flower stems with my green pen but then I realized that they were not standing out so I took up my black pen and then first after I marked the bushes with the black outline I also made my flower stems with the black pen only. Now what I'm doing is, is an optional step. I applied a little bit of Elmer's glue on my flowers and I'm putting glitter over it. So I had glitter and I'm using it but if you don't have glitter, you can skip this step, it wouldn't matter. Now greeting cards are incomplete without a sweet message for the person you have made that card for. So you can simply pick your pen and write the message or if you want to go one step further you can take a light colored construction paper then apply glue on it and then paste it and write your message on that paper. I had a spare heart leaf so I also attached it and the card is ready. Give it to your friend. If you like today's craft story, then please hit like and subscribe to my channel and also please share this video with your friends. I'll bring more interesting craft stories for you very very soon. Till then, take care and bye bye. Happy crafting. Fun fact about zebras. Zebra stripes are unique like fingerprints. Their black and white stripes are unique and are as distinctive as human fingerprints. When a foal is born, they have reddish brown stripes which gradually become darker and change to black as they grow. Wow! Wow!